Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do out some practical steps onto this MySQL workbench which we have already installed into the previous video, right? We had seen out the correct procedure um, that how you can install out this MySQL workbench and the shell and the connector with Python, all of these things we had already seen into the previous video. So today right in this particular video, we are going to write out some queries for creating out the database, for checking out the database and some stuffs like that, right? Let's get started. So quickly, without jumping on to the uh, stuffs for writing out the things, I would just want you to take on to the page where we had discussed about the commands. Because from these commands only we will be going ahead and checking out and writing out the queries, right? The command today which I am going to use out is DDL command, this very first one, right? So that is the full form is data definition language. So from this DDL command, there are some uh, five to six topics which come under this some five to six sub queries that come here, which is create, drop, and then we have alter, we have truncate, we have comment, and we have rename, right? These are the six queries which come under this particular thing. Let me go on to that page itself, right? Yeah. So here comes the data definition language. What was that used for? That was actually used for defining out the database structure or the schema, right? So um, the case where you just want to uh, like define out the database, in that case, we just use out this data definition language, right? And it is as well used to specify out the additional properties of the data, fine? So first of all, I'll be using out the very first command that is the create command. So that is used to create out the objects in the database. So let's go on to the MySQL workbench and start writing out some stuffs onto this particular place. Right, so for all of you, this, this particular uh, file must be visible if you have downloaded the MySQL. So I would just zoom in the things and let me just take this down so that we just get out some proper space for writing. Fine. Now, whenever uh, the whenever we are just going to write out some queries, so the very first thing that we do is that we create out a database, right? Without creating out a database, you cannot put out the tables, you cannot put out any columns, you cannot put out any rows in that particular database, right? The very first step that we do is we create out a database. So what's the procedure for creating out the database? Let me just once again go on to the one note here for a while. And let me just come to this place. And one second, let me just go above right here. So this was the command which we have already seen that how to create out a database. So just have a look. What we do, we just first will write out the create that is the query. After that, we put out the table and then we write out the table name. That for what table you just want to create out or what is table name for which you just want to create out. In the same procedure only, we just create out the database as well. In, the, in that case, I just told you how to create out the table, right? The, even the process for creating out the database is as well same. What I would do, I would just simply write out here first of all, create. Now, this is the keyboard. You can say this is the keyboard which is used for creating out the table and as well as creating out the database as well, right? So I would just write create database, right? This is how we just write out the database. So this is the place and this is how we just write out um, one second. Give it a space and after that, give, give out the name for your database, whatever the name you just want to put on for the database which you are making out, right? Um, let's say I would be just giving out the name as, um, let's say, um, okay, that is demo one. Okay, demo one, my database name, right? This is how we just write out a query here, fine? So the create was one of the keywords which we have taken. The database as well was the same and demo one is the name for my database which I just wanted to give out. Now, whenever you are having one single query, so in that case, you could just simply go and put on and run on any of these two buttons, whichever you just wish like. Okay, but whenever you have written out many queries and you just want to run out any particular query. So in that case, we just select out this particular hole like this. Okay, we select out the things like this and then you click on this run buttons. Okay, first one is the execute the selected portion. So you would just click on this first um, yellow button, right? One thing I just missed out that after writing all the queries in SQL, we just put out a semicolon as well, right? So I just put on that particular thing as well here. Now I will be selecting this out and clicking on the run button. 
now just let me just uh, maximize this thing so that you are able to see other things clearly see uh, here basically you just got out the action that create database demo one so one row effective so it means that my database which i was planning that has been created out at this particular place right now i would just again minimize that out here at this place only. fine so my database has been now created fine so this is done now whenever i just want to put on some um any any row or any column any table inside this database so we use this function with that is use okay we use this like use and you just need to write out your um, database name whichever you just want to use out now i want to use out this demo one right the, the database which we have recently made out that is demo one i just want to use that out here so i just simply wrote use demo one now i would select this particular portion and run that out so see here it is basically showing out let me again maximize that particular thing so it's showing that use demo one zero rows affected right and even it shows out the duration as well to you that what is the duration that has been taken and the time and it shows the score also uh, numerical values like one two three four uh, according to the numbers right this is how it actually goes out fine so this demo one has now been created here okay first of all we created out the database so this is how we create out the database next when you just want to use out that particular database so this is how you just use out the database now next thing comes is that you just want to delete out or drop out the database which you have created right the third function which i have listed out here that is drop function let me come down here or modify stun describe this is the drop function right drop means to remove out that particular uh, database right so just see out delete objects from the database fine so now in this case let we will be seeing out that how you can drop out a particular database whichever you are having so i would just go on to that particular slide once again and yeah this is how the command uh, works out you first of all put out that drop function after that you write out the respective table name and yeah that's okay after simply putting out the drop you just write out the table and after that simply just write out the uh, that uh, database name whichever you just want to drop out so let me just go on to the my sql workbench once again here and let me write out the things right here so i would just write out here as drop and after that i just right now i just want to drop out a particular database so i would be mentioning out the same drop database right and after that i have the database which i just want to drop out and that is demo one for me right so drop database and then demo one so drop is basically the command which will help you to delete out the objects delete out the objects from that particular database now objects will be deleted from the table right but right here we haven't made out any particular table so in that case we are simply deleting out the database so for that you just use out the drop function after that you write out the database because you just want to drop out the database in case you want to drop out any table so instead of this database you would have written table at that particular place right that is done and at last you just simply write out the name of that particular database which you just want to delete out right and now i would just click on this particular button and execute that out right so in the downside it is showing me drop database demo one this much of rows affected and this much of time has been whenever it shows the tick mark here so it means that whatever the query you have written out that has been executed and in case it is showing out the cross mark so in that case uh, it's the case that your query has not been executed till now right i would just give you an example for that cross mark as well so that you are very much clear with that um okay let's remove out this colon for me right and now i would be just running this out here fine and here you just now are able to see that see this red cross button is coming here right it means that you have some error here even it is showing you that error code 1008 cannot drop database demo one database does not exist right why it is showing you an error like this because you haven't uh, mentioned out the proper syntax you just missed out that particular colon from here 
Great, so this is the region. And now if I just again try on running this out, now it is again showing me this same thing. Why? Because once I have already dropped out this particular database. So that is the reason when I am again and again running out this particular query. So it's showing me that this database does not exist. This database does not, does not exist because once I have already run out this particular query. So one uh, one action you can perform at in only one single time. It's not the case that you have dropped out the database again and again you are running out a single query. No, it's not that case. It is going to show you some type of errors, right? So hope you first of all got the idea that how you create out a database, how do you just use out that particular database and how you drop out the database, right? Now we have done all of these things till now, but how to check that uh, the database which I have dropped, is that deleted or not and how to check all of these things. So that will be covering in the next video, right? So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.